A World Without Dragon Balls Part 2. Now, I did a previous video talking about what if Dragon Ball Universe didn't have Dragon Balls. And how much would things be different in that, you know, universe. Now, some things was left out. And we're going to cover some of those topics on this video right here. So, first and foremost, if there was no Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball, we would pretty much not really get an adventure because Boma wouldn't be in our exploration and she wouldn't discover Goku at all. And that's one concept of that story that plays a big factor. The Dragon Balls is what brings the heroes together, them on an adventure to search for these. But for a character like Boma, I think if there was no Dragon Balls, there's probably still so much lore and things that's in the universe of Dragon Ball that probably have not been explored. Like, of course, the Bancho fan or even Master Roshi drinking from, you know, to get immortality and all these other things that he pretty much achieved and all these other precious jewels that's in the Dragon Ball universe. And I don't think that that would stop Boma from like how smart she is for her to go searching for one of these items for something that she can probably live forever or pretty much find like a fountain of youth type thing and she would pretty much go searching for something like this around the world which may possibly bring her and Goku together or may not but in the long term of everything you know a couple of things would happen like I said like uh, for instance of course a majority of the Z fires may not meet each other it's a possibility that you know Master Oshi may not you know meet Goku or he may maybe one day he may go searching for you know his old student grandpa Gohan and discover Goku and they meet that way and from there he meets Krillin and they go into a tournament and then from there they meet Tien but probably never meet Yamcha or Boma and that might just be another aspect of the story right there but of course as it goes down the Pilaf game won't be searching for the Dragon Balls and may not discover you know Piccolo, Diamond and maybe they might it's like it's a bunch of maybes like a lot of things could happen a lot of things may not happen now let's say if piccolo is free he probably will go on the rampage like he did before taking out the fighters so he won't be sealed up again but there's a possibility that goku may meet master roshi he may not and goku may just pretty much go never seeing you know anybody but the other thing is goku may also have the mistake of seeing a full moon probably one day and turn into a giant grade ape and may go rampaging either staying in that form or pretty much you know it'll probably be like a hurricane where he pretty much may just pop up randomly seeing the moon and never really discovers this until maybe one day he may get control of that form and start to understand what's going on and that may help him out to pretty much achieve that power and use it in a different way which is possible but it will later on be revealed that of course Raditz will come to the planet searching for Goku and once he does this is where things will be very tricky because at one point you know Goku may still be naive and may not you know still be like pretty much not be accustomed to the world because he may just stay you know living out in the wild and living his life like that and eventually run into Raditz who reveal all these different things it may take on Raditz offer to pretty much you know go searching other planets but due to him having a lot of instillment from grandpa gohan he may turn this down and at the same time it may cause raditz to want to destroy him now at this point goku may never meet chi chi and may never have gohan and it's just so many different things that may happen or at this point you know king piccolo will probably be having his run pretty much taking over the planet at this point where of course raditz may just show up and wipe him out real easy and go searching for you know goku at this point around the planet and probably have fun just wiping out piccolo's you know demon children that's probably running wild around the planet as well so there's a lot of different things that just may happen with this but ultimately the dragon ball is kind of essentially what brings everybody together in the dragon ball universe and starts off all these adventures and all these different things that happen but you know it would just make a lot of things more interesting to see that you know without dragon balls how much different things would be now granted like i said before pilaf gang and of course boma they are probably be searching for other tools and magical items that is on the planet that we have heard about some of these things 
and we've seen some of them in early Dragon Ball, but there's probably much more things there on the planet that may be just as much as special and magical as the Dragon Balls that we haven't really seen. And Boma may, being as smart as she is, she may go searching and looking for these items, the same as, you know, Pilaf. And of course, we can't forget about the Red Ribbon Army. So there'll be different groups of people out there that just be running wild and trying to take domination of the of the world pretty much at this point. And of course, there's nothing stopping the Red Ribbon Army from creating androids to go and start trying to, you know, take over different parts of the world and causing probably a, a huge war between the regular civilization and the Red Ribbon Army, which knowing them having Dr. Jiro on their side who can create these strong androids and equipment I don't think no one would be there to stop them and the only person that would probably be able to put a fourth to their plan because he wants to dominate everything would be King Piccolo so there will be a clash between you know King Piccolo and the Red Ribbon Army and at this point of course they have Dr. Jiro who may go into hiding and may decide to develop the androids to kill King Piccolo now in the process probably upscaling someone strong enough to you know take out King Piccolo of course later on through the years I think Raditz will appear and pretty much wipe out King Piccolo which King Piccolo may probably do the same thing as he did before he may create an egg to push all his essence into creating you know Piccolo if Raditz just don't wipe him off completely before he could even make an egg and stuff like that so you know that's a that's a high and low probability that that happens too at the same time so just depending on the circumstances which one happens you know so on one aspect we can still get piccolo jr and another aspect we may not get him at all and at this point Radis will pretty much you know wipe off you know king piccolo and return to his mission on searching for goku and at this point you know he probably will have trouble finding goku because goku power level will probably be so low but maybe one day goku will turn into a great ape and he was able to search goku at this point and find him by the immense power that the great ape presents and at this point you know this will cause him to find goku and discover him and pretty much probably be able to take down the great ape of goku after he calms down or either chopping off his tail or something like that or destroying the moon Either way, he'll probably do something to pretty much calm Goku down and pretty much at this point or wait out to Goku's, you know, change back to normal and then, you know, present himself to Goku. And from there, we'll have Goku either agreeing or, you know, not pretty much agreeing. At this point, Goku pretty much wouldn't have anybody. Maybe he may meet some other people while he's out in the wild that he may discover and make friends with. Maybe not. Maybe he may just be truly alone living out in the wild. And maybe he may want to discover something new once Raditz discover him and tell him. At this point, Goku is a lot more older. So he wouldn't probably have exactly the same kid mentality where he met Boma a little bit. But he'll probably be wondering who was Raditz in and, and probably may try to step up to him too as well. But realize he's no match. Raditz may still take him in this against his will and pretty much bring him with him but at this point Goku is probably going to be much more weaker than what he is from the first time that Raditz discovered him and probably doesn't know how to even do key blasts or anything so Raditz may have to train him on planet earth at this point to get him prepared to be a Saiyan warrior at this point due to him losing his memory at this point to get him up to speed and at this point maybe later on they may discover you know either they stay on the planet or they may not stay on the planet training or you know Dr. Jerome may make androids that was supposed to take out Piccolo and end up you know finding Raditz as a bigger threat from him watching Piccolo King Piccolo fight against Raditz and seeing everything that happens from the recorded battles and decide he needs to find somebody to take out Raditz and at this point he may have the androids maybe not as powerful but maybe have them come and construct it and and take out you know Raditz and Goku at this point and this could go either kind of way because maybe they may not be as powerful from the power showcase that they've seen and or Vegeta and Nappa may show up to give reinforcements and they take out the androids seeing that androids probably would not powered up as strong as the current timeline is and this could just lead to so many different variations of things that could happen but we'll get more into that in a part three of this video